Welcome to Heartland Makes and Outdoors. In today's video, we're going to be tying up a new lure. This lure we have named the Shepherd. You're going to need some black marabou, some pink marabou, and on the crystal flash, the one that's actually on the screen right now, we'll switch back over to the other screen. That's actually a green flash so that you can kind of see what it would look like with green. On this particular one, we're going to go ahead and use the red flash today just to kind of mix it up a little bit. That way you can have another view of what this could potentially look like. Again, guys, this is a real simple jig. It should work really, really well with the crappie. So let's get to the video. As you guys know, we have been using what we've got on hand. And the reason is we're going to be using more of a gray colored dubbing. <laughs> and that's where the name comes from. I always like to start out with just a little bit of the hardest nails on, on these jigs. Again, guys, that's personal preference and not everybody uses that at all. And it's no big deal one way or another whether you do it or not. I just kind of like it because it helps everything kind of stick together. Again, you, I've already shown you the thread size. We're just going to start out by putting a base layer down. Let's get our little scissors. Cut that. And that doesn't have to be perfect. And again, guys, if you guys have been tying crappie jigs or any of that, you already know that this thread that I'm using is extremely small for a crappie jig. But it's what we got on hand, and that makes it affordable. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get a small piece of the pink marabou. And we're just going to kind of size it up. And again, guys, basically you're trying to get the tail to be not much longer than the, than the hook. So I think we'll do one little wrap, kind of let the bobbin hold it. But that's probably about right. So we'll go ahead and start wrapping it. And if you noticed, it did kind of fall underneath down towards the bottom. That's actually okay. We'll run it back up. Grab the scissors. Let's trim that off. Kind of clean that head up a little bit. Get that smashed down a little bit better. Alright, next we're going to get a small piece of the black, because we're making this basically a two-toned. Get a small piece of the black, rip that off, and again we're going to do the same thing. We're going to get it sized where we think it's about right, and I found the easiest way to do this is to just kind of let the thread hold it, and then you can kind of pull it up. That might be about right, right there. Get a couple of wraps to get it to where it's holding. Keep pulling that marabou back. Without stabbing yourself. And then, let's go ahead and get rid of this so it's not in our way. Just a little bit further. We're trying to get basically right to the hook point itself. Now let's go ahead and tie in some flash. We'll grab our flash. I just got this red flash in yesterday. I was hoping to video this yesterday, but I've been waiting on this flash. It finally came in yesterday. We're just going to grab one strand. 
And the good thing about this flash, guys, is if you get it tied on there and you don't like it or you think it's scaring the fish, you can always cut that out on the kayak, the boat, or whatever you're fishing out of. Just a couple of turns there. Let me get my scissors. Kind of. That's about right. Let's go ahead and cut that. I'll fold these two back. Get them tied in. Run the thread all the way back up. That looks pretty dang good. And let's go ahead and tie in just one more tiny piece of the black to make that a little bit thicker. Just grab one of these out of the bag. We'll put this black on this other side. Kind of bring that up. Again, like we've been doing. Just kind of let the thread hold it. Kind of pull it and adjust it and get it to your liking. This is your fly. You do it how you want. And I think that's going to give us a real good spot right there. I'll run that thread back up since it is so thin. Get these little hanging downies out of the way. Alright guys. Now here's where the fun part comes in. We're going to go all the way back to the back back here. Pull out a fair amount of thread, loop our finger down here, you should be able to see that on the other camera hopefully, and if not, you guys will see it in a second, but we're just going to tie this loop in, and this loop is going to be where we start our dubbing. So run this back up, if you guys have one of the little loop hooks, this is a great time to utilize that if you don't you can actually use your fingers but we're gonna get one of these little dubbing pliers like this and this is again just the cheap ones that come in the kit here's where it gets fun if you guys know I've got a German Shepherd and that German Shepherd has basically three layers of fur he's got his long hair and then he's got those shorter mid hairs and this fur right here actually came what you would call like his extreme lower the kind of the insulating waterproof type hair and you can see there's little lumps in there but we're going to just kind of pull this all apart and we're going to make our own dubbing using shepherd hair hence the name of the lure so you want to get it dubbing about like that come over here get your finger back in that loop I'm going to run this dubbing up here and kind of spread it out a little bit because we're going to need it to cover the entire shank all the way up to the head. There's another little knot of hair. We'll put that down here so it'll be up closer to the head. Now we're going to twist that up. Let's we'll slide that back up. And you can see there's some of those longer hairs in here and we will brush those out when we get closer to the top of this. Now one of the things that I do like about this body material is it's more of a natural color and then you've got the flash in the back of this lure and that ought to really get some fish's attention. We'll just keep wrapping that up. Trying to keep it smooth as we can. Just twisting. And now we're going to start a wrap. Try 
trying to keep our layers to where they're working out smoothly and again this last little bit we're up here by the head now which is going to work out perfectly and finish that off there we'll go ahead and start getting ready to tie it off and this is why we went with that light gray thread We can go ahead and cut that and get it out of the way because it's secured now. One thing that you could do, guys, that I didn't do on this one is put a little bit of the hard as nails before you start this wrap with the fur. We're going to tie it off. This is just the standard whip finisher guys, nothing fancy about this. And there it is. That, and that's one thing about that thread, it's so small it breaks real easy so you don't have to cut it. And that's the final result, if you'll notice, and I'll put the other jig back head, where'd it go? I'll put the other jig head back up here, but as you can see you've got a little bit of flash on this. You could trim that one just a little bit. I'll show you the other one and the one thing I want to point out on this head here is the two-tone paint color see how it's kind of streaking and guys how I did that when I was powder coating it I just took a little tool like this one when the powder coat was still wet and just kind of scrape it and drag down some of that black and it kind of makes it look like hair I think it's kind of fun again guys if you like this kind of stuff I'd love to talk you into subscribing if you enjoy fishing, crappie fishing, perch fishing, I think this is going to be an awesome lure. We are going to try to go fishing this week, and we'd love to take you with us. Look forward to seeing some of our fishing videos. They generally air on Thursdays. Again, this is Tackle Shop Tuesday. We appreciate your likes, comments, and subscribes. May you have a blessed week. And let's get outside and make something happen.